Oh, it's definitely earned me more money. Just just like Decatur, they were paying 70 cents more for some or for uh, summer corn there in August. We were hauling corn 100 mile for 40 cents, and we're making 30 cents. And I wouldn't even known that price was probably on there. I wouldn't have thought of calling Decatur. But when you go to the Growers Edge page, then it, it takes all that running around out of it for you. Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today is Wednesday the 11th here, and we had the market trade a bit mixed here. Corn down two and a quarter, soybeans up eight cents, and wheat in Chicago trading up three and a half cents on the day. Now, Kevin, we do have corn trading down two and a quarter cents on the day. It's the only grain that traded lower here. Mm -hmm. We had ethanol numbers out mid-morning. Was that the reason why we're trading down? Uh, well, I don't really think that weighed too heavily on it, but what was kind of interesting to see is how ethanol did rebound a little bit this week or uh, this week in terms of production we had an uptick of 13,000 barrels per day compared to last week not a big move one way or the other but it still keeps us well above the blue line you see on this chart which was last year and so we still continue to outpace last year by about 5.6 percent USDA did raise their annual ethanol use for corn uh, to uh, up 75 million bushels, which brings us to a 2.3% increase year on year. So when you look at weekly numbers, we're still tracking ahead of last year by a sizable margin. I don't know if that'll keep up, but certainly right now it's still positive in supporting this corn market. Absolutely. It is very interesting actually with production continuing to stay well ahead of the, the pace that's really expected by the USDA. We do have an increase here in stocks as well. We saw 149,000 uh, barrels added to stocks this week. That br brings us up to 29.4 or 21.4 million barrels. So it is in interesting. We continue to see uh, this this increase in stocks. We continue to see strong production. You'd think at some point here, at least based on yeah, what the there's got to be a pendulum swing where you know we 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 reach a tipping point where where stocks and and all of this starts to weigh on the ethanol price and really pushes production down. But so far it hasn't. Absolutely. Well, um, one other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was the fact that soybeans traded a little bit higher here today. Uh, yesterday, in reaction to the WASDE report, we saw the market trade lower. Now, of course, we're trading higher. And what's, uh, I guess, I wanted to just kind of reaffirm producers that I do not believe uh, that the reaction or the, 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 the trade higher in today's session is necessarily a fundamental shift uh, in the direction of soybeans mm -hmm. over um, in, in terms of the trend here that yeah. we've established over the last month. In South America, we had the Rosario Grain Exchange come out and they put out their new estimates for Argenti uh, Argentinian production. And you can see they increased uh, their, their expectations here for soybean productions out of Argentina to 58 million metric tons. That's up from 54.5. So that's a significant jump there. They also increased uh, their corn production estimates here to 23.5, up from 22.5. Both of these numbers are now above the USDA expectations, which were also revised higher in, um, in Tuesday's report. So yeah. I don't see this as being anything supportive for soybeans, especially in tomorrow's yeah, session. Yeah, I mean, it continues to be more of the same. We continue to see rising production out of South America, global supplies continuing to grow. You know, don't lose sight of the fact that this is a bear market yeah. and you are going to have these short run days like today or, or that last for a little bit longer where you get snapbacks, you get corrections to the upside. But I, I'm, like, I'm with you. I, I wouldn't lose sight of the fact that this market has a lot of downside still left in it probably. And of course in Brazil, you know, we're just getting into harvest and, and that harvest pay should pressure the market here going forward. Keep in mind the export sales are out tomorrow. Uh, expectations for these export sales on Thursday are between 600 and 850,000 metric tons for corn, between 250 and 450,000 metric tons for soybeans, and between 300 and 500,000 metric tons for wheat here. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, give us a call. The number is 877-472-4607. We'd be happy to either walk you through the trading platform, get you set up with a trading platform, and, or just talk about the markets and talk about uh, what these uh, USDA numbers are going to mean to your marketing strategy uh, throughout the 2015 uh, growing season. So thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here Thursday for the Export Sales Report.